Okay, let's go over matching and switching and how to use certain holds. So when you're matching, you can have either both hands or both feet on a handhold or sometimes a foot and a hand like with a hand foot match. And so there are a lot of different applications for this. It can be used in conjunction with other techniques. Often what's happening is you're trying to switch positions. So you're trying to go in a different direction and your feet are turned one way. And so you have to end up turning around and you have to use some sort of matching or switching technique in order to do that without losing or twisting off the wall. So there are a couple different methods of matching and switching. So foot dance is a common method. That's just really stepping across the wall, going in one direction. Then you have the foot match, where you actually bring both feet, and you can do this with hands too, but both feet on a hold. And so there's enough room to fit both of your feet. And then you have the foot switch. That's normally done in conjunction with a, a little hop. So you've got one foot on the hold and your toes are pointed in the same direction. You bring the other foot on top of the other foot on, on top of that edge and then do a quick hop. And the top foot, as the bottom foot slides out, will end up landing on that bottom hold. But you often will have to give a, just a slight hop so that you can get that other foot out from underneath. And so we talked about the foot dance, uh, foot switching. If the hold is too small, just that's just like a, what I was talking about, that's where you would have to switch those feet out and do that quick little hop. So here's a video on how to switch feet. So matching hands or feet, or hands and feet together, commonly happen, is especially with like mantling. So like if you're trying to get up on top of a ledge and you're having to mantle or you have a big chunky handhold that you can press up on, you may end up doing like a hand foot match. Or you can do a heel hook and do a hand foot match. So there are, those are the two most common. It's not that you wouldn't use it with other techniques, but a lot of times you'll see hand foot matches happen with mantling and with heel hooks. And here's a video of how to use the hand foot match. So common holds. So you have jugs, which gets its name from like jug handles. And those are those big chunky hand holds. So here's an example of a jug. There's plenty of room. A lot of times you can actually match both feet on top of a big jug because there's so much room. Stand on top of it and rest and recover and let gravity, like you can drop your arms, check out your arms and let gravity bring the blood supply back down. So if you always keep your arms up over your head, uh, your body has to fight gravity to pump blood up and you're also gripping and you get fatigued, but you can get up on a big chunky handhold like a jug, drop your arms down, shake them out, rest and recover. Crimping is another common handhold, so you're just using the fingers, you're not necessarily using the thumb too much, you can use the thumb. So you have a traditional crimp with the thumb and then you have an open-handed crimp where you're really relying on those four fingers to do most of the work for you. Uh, you gotta be real careful with crimps because you've got a lot of weight on just a few digits and you may not have all four digits on there. You may only be able to get a, a three digits on or whatever you can grip with. And so you run the risk of really hurting yourself. Another one that you can hurt yourself with is a pocket. And you're really trying to jam as many fingers down in that pocket as you can so that you can alleviate some of that weight and really get a good grip. So you, you notice in this photo here, that individual only has two fingers in there. If they fall and all their weight goes on just those two digits and they're really jam-packed in there, you can do a lot of damage. Um, there have been people that have lost digits this way where they get stuck in the hold and then all the weight comes down. Almost like what would happen if you reached in and gripped a bolt. But you're trying to get as many 
digits crammed in there as possible and that would be a pocket you use that a lot on limestone climbing where you have those little pockets that you can grip limestone sometimes is pretty sharp though then you have pinches and it's exactly how it sounds you're using that opposable thumb to pinch onto the hold and you'll normally have like a little pocket that you can pinch and you get your other fingers on the opposite side of that in either maybe a sloping side. There might be a little divot on the other side, but it, there, there's something to grip with those other fingers, but you're using that opposable thumb. Then you have slopers. Now slopers, there's nothing really to grip on. So you're trying to keep your fingers close together, trying to get your body weight up underneath the hold and it's all about friction. This is where chalk becomes extremely important with slopers. So I put some videos in there. You can go in and watch the hand foot match video. You can go in and watch the switching feet video. And the skill for the day is going to be to demonstrate how to match. And it can be matching feet, matching hands, how to switch feet, or how to use some of these handholds. It's up to you on which one you want to do.